Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, first things first before I go any further, I have just got to point out that I have got a bit of colour on me at the moment because I've caught the sun over the past few weeks. So no, this isn't straps of my top, it is actually tan marks. Um, and no, I'm not a different person, this is actually me. Um, so yeah, what I wanted to do this weekend, um, when you're watching this it will be Sunday, so I hope you're all having a good Sunday. Um, one thing that I wanted to do, um, and hopefully start through my YouTube channel, is talk a bit more about books and hopefully start a little book club um, and get everyone kind of talking about books and something that we can share and do together. Um, so one thing you may not know about me is I have got a 2-1 degree. Um, I originally did German um, but then I finished my degree over two years um, with the Open University via a credit transfer. Um, so one thing that I, I did for my A-levels is English Literature. Um, I ended up getting a B A level, so I was pretty pleased with that. Um, and I also love reading, so when I was younger, I was known for being a bit of a speed reader, um, and I would basically power through all of the books in my primary school, um, to the point where basically they would send me to buy then junior school across the road to then get books out because I'd read all the books in the library. So I was a bit of a Matilda growing up. Um, and I think that one of the best ways you can learn about life and learn about things is through reading. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it Hands Book Club. I kind of want a theme tune like Hands Book Club, um, which sounds a bit like um, This Is Your Life where it goes da 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 da. Um, but no, so I'm going to pick a book each week, I'm going to do a review um, on a YouTube video and then what I'm hoping is is that you can then pick up the book in the week, you can borrow it from a library which doesn't cost anything, so you can read the book, you can tweet me, you can Instagram me, you can tell me what you thought of the book and then the week after um, we can share our thoughts on the book and then we can also um, pick another book. So it's going to be a weekly thing, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to write a blog post on my website, the link will be down below, um, and what I'll do is I'll talk about some of the key things from the books, um, what I've learned from them, what I feel like some of the key topics were, um, any kind of constructive criticism, because I think that's part of reading as well, is that you, you have things that you thought were good and you thought weren't so good. Um, and I'm hoping we can kind of, especially with the summer holidays coming up, if you're slightly younger, I remember when I was younger I used to borrow a load of books from the library, um, so I'm kind of hoping this can become a thing. So um, what I'll do is, if you want to get a drink, I've got a lovely peach iced tea, the Lidl Zero Calorie, which is like, I'm obsessed with it. I've just done a workout as well, so it's heavenly. But yeah, get a drink. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll come back in a second, I'll talk about my book of the week, and we'll go from there. So, um, my book of the week, which you may have seen on my Instagram and on my Twitter, is Sophie Kinsella, Surprise Me. Um, it's just come out, but I basically got it from the library. Um, because, to be honest, I'm a bit of a sucker and I'm a bit, I'm a bit guilty of always buying Kindle books because I've got a Kindle. Um, but my mum was like, Han, like try out a paperback again and I'm not gonna lie I have kind of missed the feel of like a good a good and the smell the smell of a paperback book as well there's something about it um so yeah this is Sophie Kinsella surprise me it was published this year I think it, I think it came out a couple of weeks ago so my mum spotted a good find with this book um, and I know Sophie Kinsella from the Shopaholic series of books, which I think I've read a few of them, I haven't read all of them, but I think from me reading this book I definitely want to try out some more, now I'm a bit older, I definitely want to try a few more of her books out. Um, it says, Sophie Kinsella is an international best-selling writer. She is the author of many number one bestsellers, including the hugely popular Shopaholic series. Um, she lives in London with her husband and her family and avoids surprises at all costs, which I'll explain in a bit. Um, but yeah, I think the one thing that struck me about this book is that she writes and you can read it and you can relate to it. Um, there's a lot of modern day references, so there's a, a reference to YouTube in there. Um, there's a reference to the Kardashians, I think, at one point as well. Um, and when you read it, you do genuinely feel like you're kind of reading about someone's everyday real life. And that's kind of what you want when it comes to like a nice summer light-hearted read, is that you can just kind of switch off and read it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out the blurb and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So it says, after being together for 10 years, Sylvie and Dan have a comfortable home, fulfilling jobs, beautiful twin girls and communicate so seamlessly that they finish each other's sentences. They have a happy marriage and believe they know everything there is to know about each other until it's casually mentioned to them that they can be together for another 68 years and panic sets in. They quickly decide to create little surprises for each other to keep their relationship fresh and fun. But in their pursuit of Project Surprise Me, anything from unexpected gifts to restaurant dates to photo shoots, mishaps arise with disastrous and comical results. Gradually, the surprises turn to shocking discoveries. And when a scandal from the past is uncovered, they begin to wonder if they ever really knew each other at all. Da, da, da. Um, so first thing about this book, um, because obviously if you don't know that about me, I'm single, I'm not married. So when I first read the blurb of this book, I thought, well, how, what am I actually going to be able to take from this book? Because I've not been married. I'm not married and I haven't been married for 10 years. So what exactly is it going to be that I'm going to be able to take away from this? Um, so what I like about this book is that it's a good, what I'd call a gradual builder. So... Um, it kind of builds up this whole image, I don't want to give spoilers away, that Dan and Sylvie have a perfect marriage, so they finish each other's sentences, they know each other really well, um, and I think my only criticism potentially of this book, not that it's a criticism, is that I do love a slow burner where it takes a while for the plot to get going, so I don't mind it, but I can probably appreciate that for some people it might be a bit too long for them to wait for like the, the plot line, the twist of the story to kick in, but I personally enjoy that kind of thing because I'm a bit of a speed reader. Um, it's 300 odd pages, so I basically read it in one afternoon yesterday, this is why I've got the tan, so... Um, I loved it because when you're kind of sat out in the sun, you can skim read, you can power through it, and then it kind of hooks you as you get in. Obviously, I don't want to give things away. So, um, I really like the how the writer, um, how Sophie kind of builds a description of the characters. She um, shows how Sylvie and Dan appear to be on the surface. Um, and she gradually hints at things that might come up to get you kind of hooked and guessing at what the twist is. Um, for me, again, it was good because there is a, a plot twist, but it's not one that I thought was going to happen. So um, from reading books, you obviously get to a point where you're a bit like, I know what's going to happen here. But um, there was a good twist on this one. Um, I found as well that I liked how sometimes... Um, I find it really hard to find books that are funny and I do did find moments in the book where I was kind of smiling and I found things that were really funny um so one thing that isn't going to give the book away at all is that at one point so the whole plot surprised me is that they find out that they're going to be married for the rest of their lives because they've both been told by a doctor that they've got a, a really long life ahead of them um so Sylvie decides that one day she wants to do it so Dan her husband and, and each other they surprise each other all the time to keep things fresh and on their toes so she comes up with the really cliched romantic things like dinner and you know just dressing nice and things like this and then he decides to surprise her with a snake um I actually think now I've now I've read the book because I read it yesterday and it's fresh in my head I don't want to give things away but I quite like the fact that she chose a snake because a snake symbolises, like, I'm a big fan, when I used to write about books, when I studied English literature, literature A level, I, I was a big fan of the word symbolism um, and things being a visual sign of something that's going to happen. Um, so I think, I don't want to kind of give the plot away too much, but I like the fact that she chose a snake because it's unexpected and a snake can be, mean so many things, but obviously, like, modern day for the whole snake emoji, it means that someone doing something that isn't quite what people expect, something almost like a betrayal. So it's kind of at the point where that, that snake comes up that things slowly become more apparent and the plot twists um, and things happen. Um, what I also like is that 
she she kind of deals with a lot of quite hardcore and difficult topics so in this book she just uh, says obviously marriage getting through a marriage how you know that when you suddenly realize that you're going to be with someone for the rest of your life obviously i've not been there but i can imagine it's pretty scary so she kind of talks about that like how how to keep love going she also kind of talks about what love is and how you can learn something new about your partner in ways that you didn't expect as the days go on um it also discusses grief quite well i thought um so sylvie's lost her dad at a young age um and it I, I, again i don't want to give any spoilers away but um it's it's something where you can see and it kind of gives you a good insight into how the Sylvie has dealt with the loss of her dad, um, you know, how she grieves for him, how she deals with the memories of things. Um, what I think it's also really good at is it kind of, it gives you like lots of different elements. So you get to know all of the characters. So I know about her next door neighbour called Tilda. Um, I know about her next door neighbour's son called Toby. Um, and I feel like that's quite realistic, but it doesn't feel fake and it doesn't feel contrived. Um, and I would say this is a great book for a lazy weekend, if you're gonna be sat out in the sun like me, if you just wanna switch off from the world, you don't want anything too heavy, um, then I would say this is a really good read. So what I'd like everyone to do, if you actually are gonna do this, please um, like this video and comment below if you are gonna do this. So this is the book of the week um, in Hans Book Club. Hands Book Club. Um, Sophie can sell us and surprise me. What I want you to do, um, if any of you are gonna read this book, um, please give this book a read, give it a chance, comment down below, give me your thoughts um, and let me know do you think it's a good read, um, do you enjoy the characters that are mentioned, do you feel that it gives a realistic uh, representation of grief and love um, and I'd love to know your thoughts so if you read the book let me know Next week I'll pick another book and then I'll also discuss what some of your comments were about this book. Like I'd really like things to be interactive um, and I feel like books are a great conversation starter and a good way to debate key themes that are going on at the moment. So yeah, um, this is the week's book. Um, let me know also if you've got any book recommendations and we'll go from here. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, as always, my social media links are down below and I'll see you for the next instalment of Hannah's Book Cloud. Bye guys.